welcome to the Accra Sports Stadium where Accra Hearts of Hope take on Real Tamale United. Much anticipated encounter. Match day 18 is the second round of the Ghana Premier League and is only the first match of the second round. My name is Prince Anand. Here at the Accra Sports Stadium, I'll be supported by Josiah Okokwe. And for 90 minutes, we're expecting these two teams to bring out the best of themselves. Real Tamale United have been under the cosh for a while. They've had managerial, technical and player problems, but they put all that behind them. And they are here to meet Accra Hearts of Oku themselves have made technical changes to both the uh, head coach area as well as the managerial positions. They followed the team closely during their break. And it's Real Tamale United who kick off playing from left to right in their traditional blue outfit. Kushibo will be operating from the right-hand side. The Phobians have straight into the waiting arms of goalkeeper Abdul Rauf Mahmoud. And Accra had to focus up the advantage now. Trying to cut through there is Linda Tangi. Into the 18-yard box. Yes, Linda. Quite a chance coming the way of the Phobians. Uh, of the Phobians, I beg your pardon, cleared of the lines. That was a good block, but then equally, no good ball. That ball to find Linda, but just, just look at that. Pick the spot. The return pass. Just look at that. So simply done. Wonderfully done. By Salif Ibrahim. Kumakosa. Linda has been let loose. And that's the first goal. Flag is up on the far. Flag is up on the far side. It won't count. Test to the dismay of the fans. But then, is that the right call? Yes. Yes, I think he was just half an inch outside. You could see, I think Salifu just wasted too much time. And you could see that Sisi was encroaching, getting into that six yard box. And Have opportunity for Linda Tanguy pushes it on once again. Shot is fired from a distance. No, he takes a second opportunity this time. And on the opposite end of the field, Zakra has a goal. Super goal. Super, super, super goal. See it coming. You could feel the goal coming. But then we talk about the connection between the two attackers. Kasim Sise. But earlier on, just look at that with the chest. Lovely control with the chest. Just unleashes that drive. The goalkeeper having no chance at all. But then she said, playing his part in that one. But then what a control. And a lovely half volley. And that's the marksman for them. We spoke about him before the game. And the coach said, you should watch out for him. Because he has something in his locker. The Fulvian said they know the trickery of Real Tamale United. Through the middle again, could this be goal number two now? And here, yeah, I'm looking for options. Now look out. Look at how Real Tamale United mass up in defense. It's a good opportunity for Hamza this time. The connection I... again, Prince. The connection between Kasim Sise and then Ham through the legs of the defender, Hamza Isa, you know, trying to create enough room for himself before he unleashes that Saibu Fatau. Right place at the right time. No second time in this game that to you, they found themselves so fortunate. Blocking well, a ball. That, Hamza Isa that was go bomb. The first timer. Yeah, Gerald, that was just that. Alti really struggling to, to deal with that one. Corner, corner kick by a pass of hook taking eventually. Yes. Real Tamale United leaving too many gaps in the middle. Accra Hearts of Hook register their second goal. A brace from Hamza Isa. But then why is the defense? non-existent prints they were just nowhere to be found and you can see the coach moment fuming but then that delivery from salifu ibrahim a tailored pass just you know finding the head of Hamza Isa. but there's no one marking Hamza Isa. just no one it's literally in no man's land just left free to deal with that boy even if he had missed there was still someone over there who could have dealt with that ball easily because three heart of players at the right place at the right time and Hamza Isa rising the highest. And there is the end of the very first half final whistle in terms of the half time. 
And so with those changes out of the way, here we go for the commencement of the second round. Eric Sifa Entry, our referee, class one referee from Wa. We'll touch base with the other venues briefly to let you know what's been going on. But Kuka through the middle. Chance for Hart to focus goal. Number three. He came off the bench. He's added his support. He's found himself in the right place. And Enoch is supporting. The traffic. Isakuka again orchestrating things over here. Spreads play. Finds his subontain. Let's see. Abdulaziz trying to close him down, trying to narrow that space for him before he gets the shot. But then he already picked the spot and he unleashes that drive. And just thrust that beyond Raouf. And also they're approaching Abdulaziz. But then Isakuka, we've spoken about every 10 balls, the one time passes. It does so well with that spread of play. And his subontain will just do justice to that one. Hearts of Oak. Just running away with this one. Hearts of Oak, comfortable 3-0 lead. Let's take a look at, uh, here we go with a free kick for Real Tamale United. A swanging, Richard Atta to the rescue. Spot picked. Then target the far left corner, but then Richard Atta always up to the task. The pass from Martin Kakari. Martin gets it this time. He drills it in, but it goes. Preaching to the fans, they know. Spot picked. The fans take it, goalkeeper comes out to fist it away. Out to you, team, to build up from the back like they usually want to. Oh, this was close. <laughs> Just could not redirect. Oh, Kakari. What smart thinking. Lovely lob there. Onside. Jails it across the face of goal. Oh. See the shot across. Kuka fails to connect. Frimpong was there. Miscues it. To play the master game. They come forward again into the 18 yard box. This time around, good goal keeping. And now they look for the uh, shot. Richard Atta is called into action and he passes with distinction. The last two times he's been called into action, he's been fantastic. What a good save. Manquieli trying to go for that long one. Richard Attai, what to give the ball away easily. But that's too late because referee has blown his whistle for the end of full time. Here at the Accra Sports Stadium, it's the first match of the second round for these two clubs. Issa, who got a brace for Accra, had to walk away with a man of the match award.